I want to thank you again for joining us. This is the Heart of David International Ministry. I'm your pastor, Dr. Mark B. This is our Tuesday evening corporate prayer slash midweek service. Amen. Glory be to God. <laughs> Let me open up in prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ. We come to you right now with great joy, excitement, and great expectation in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for your son, Jesus Christ. We thank you that Jesus shed in his blood for us, that he left heaven and came to earth to show us the way, and he is the sacrificial lamb in the name of Jesus. Now, Father God, I pray and thank you for deliverance in this service right now whether it's here in person or out there in the social media, Lord. We decree and declare healing, deliverance, signs and wonders and miracles in the name of Jesus. Thank you for washing us in the blood of Jesus, Father God. We bind up, we cast out, and we destroy every devil, every demon, every witch, every warlock that try to stop this prayer or hinder this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We call Holy Ghost fire down from heaven right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you all the glory, all the praise, and all of the honor. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Our subject today, um, I put Second uh, Timothy 1 and 8. But we also can use uh, Revelations 12 and 11. You know, we are overcome. We overcome him by the blood of the lamb and the words of our testimony. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Our subject today is your testimony has power. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let me uh, slow down a little bit. And we do ask that you like, subscribe, and share uh, on the social media. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That uh, Our website <coughs> is hodim.org. Hodim.org. Our email address is hodim1117 at gmail.com. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. So if you have any questions, if you would like to join the ministry, you can email us or leave a message on the website and someone will get back with you. You can look on the website as to what we believe. Hallelujah. We believe in the Bible. We believe in sound doctrine. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Hallelujah. All right. Glory, glory, glory. Father God, we just praise you and worship you on today. We worship you and we magnify you in the precious name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for the Holy Ghost and fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord, for being in our midst, Lord. We thank you that you allow us to be in your presence. We thank you for showing up, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, we want to walk with you in the cool of the day, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, we don't want to grieve the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus, Lord. Thank you for washing us in your blood. Thank you for purifying us and cleansing us and purging us in the blood of Jesus Christ. It is the blood of Jesus that will never lose his power in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we give you all of the glory, all of the praise, and all of the honor. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, amen, amen, and amen. Glory, glory, glory to your mighty name. We thank you, Lord. We give you the glory, the praise, and all of the honor. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Amen. <clears throat> we got to understand that 
uh, uh, our testimony has power. I really pray that the churches here in America get back to testifying. Yeah, we know we got some people off that, you know, amen, but we got to come back to testifying to speak the word of the Lord. One thing that I just started doing with me and my boy, uh, as they read, even if they're reading alone, if they're doing their own Bible time, I still tell them to read out loud to yourself. And the reason why I do that, uh, uh, the scripture, when they read the scriptures, they read the scriptures out loud. So even when you read the Bible, glory to God, by yourself, Read the Bible out loud to yourself. Hallelujah. Faith come by hearing and hearing is the word of God. Hallelujah. So as you are reading the Bible, you increase your faith because you're hearing the words in your ears. I know, you know, hey, you're reading to yourself, but read out loud to yourself. Glory to God. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Let me get back on track. Hey, glory to your mighty name. You got to understand that your testimony has power. Glory to God. It has power. Don't stop testifying. Hallelujah. Even when you're going through. Hallelujah. I was going through today. The devil trying to get me depressed. I, I, I'm going through stuff. I'm doing stuff. And I'm like, Lord, my breakthrough is coming. I am not going to get depressed. I'm not going to let the devil deceive me. Um, look, God is good. God can do everything on his time. You just make sure you do what you're supposed to do. Hallelujah. Don't overstep your bounds. Let God do what he's going to do. You got to do what you're supposed to do. The problem is, glory to God, hallelujah. We, try, we step out of our... Uh, we step out of our lane and we try to help God. And then that's what gets everything up, uh, messed up. Now he's going to deliver you. He's going to deliver you in your time and his timing. But when we try to help him out, we delay the deliverance because we don't have the patience, the discernment, hallelujah, glory to God, mm. to, to, to wait on God's deliverance. I'm not telling you to sit around and not do nothing. I'm not saying that. I know the scripture says in uh, 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 Psalm 46 and 10, be still and know that I am God. I will be, let's go there, glory to God. Hallelujah. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the New King James Version today. Hallelujah. Psalms 46 and 10. Hallelujah, glory to your mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Isaiah 46 and 10, this is the new King James Version. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Hallelujah. I will be exalted in the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Glory, glory, glory. Let me go ahead and read this out of the King James Version. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Psalm 46 and 10. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathens. I will be exalted in the earth. Among the heathens. Those are the folks that ain't saved. They don't want to be saved. They ain't trying to be saved. They don't even want to get to know God. Hey, glory to your name. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for locating us today, Father. Thank you for locating us with your grace and your mercy. Thank you for locating us with the Holy Ghost and fire in the name of Jesus Christ. We give you all of the glory, all of the praise, and all of the honor on today. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We have to understand that our testimony 
All right, so uh, let me go ahead and read uh, 2 Timothy 1 and 8. Hallelujah. New King James Version. Therefore, do not be ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner, but shall, but share with me in the suffering of the gospel according to the power of God. Suffer with me in the gospel according to the power of God. Listen, let me tell y'all something right now. Glory to your mighty name. There's a difference when you're suffering for Christ, and there's another difference when you're suffering because of you. Now, even if you suffer for Christ, you shouldn't be suffering for 10, 20, 30, 50 years, 60 years, and you living for God. The devil is alive. You have been tricked. You have been deceived. deceived. Hallelujah. I don't care what the doctor tells me. God is God. I'm not going to be sick. Listen, I'm not telling nobody not to go to the doctor. I don't have no problem with that. Thank God for the doctors. But at the end of the day, hallelujah, I'm going to do God's will. My God. Everybody got all these kicks and pains and high cholesterol, high blood pressure, diabetes, because you ain't eating right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We got to get back to eating right. My God. Hallelujah. Let me get back to my subject, hallelujah. Hallelujah, your testimony is God has saved me and God has delivered me. Hallelujah. Lord, thank you for delivering me for stuff that I didn't even know was in my body and you took care of it. Hallelujah. There is power in your testimony. Hallelujah. You may have to cry, hallelujah, to your testimony, but God is good. Your heart may be hurt, but you say, Lord, I believe you. Jesus, I trust you. You delivered me out of all my troubles before. So I know you'll deliver me out of this right now. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to your mighty name. We have our testimony. Hallelujah. Has power. <clears throat> we testify and uh, help us put on a whole armor, God, the sword of the Lord, in which is his word. And as you given somebody your testimony, <laughs> glory to God, you are speaking God's word. You are speaking power. Hallelujah. And you speak God's word with joy and excitement and great expectation. Hallelujah. It strengthens you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I can go home one more day. Don't make it another mile. No, he ain't been, been going my way. But God, Jesus Christ is Lord. I never told you I didn't have to shed tears. What I'm telling you is Jesus is good. What I'm telling you, I'm not giving up. Yes, I've had to cry. Yes, I've lost the pain. Yes, I lost some loved ones, some people that were close to me. I'm not giving up on it. I don't understand everything, how he do it and the way he do it. And, and sometimes I say, Lord, why? And sometimes you don't answer me. You act like God got to answer you every time you ask him a question. He does not. God your question and now you want to give up on God and you have seen his grace and his mercy I don't care if you've been, been saved for two weeks I don't care if you've been saved for 20 years I don't care if you've been saved for 50 you have seen the glory of God in your life hallelujah you've seen God's mercy on your children because of the way you serve God you have seen God's mercy Glory to God, hallelujah, on your grandchildren and your great-grandchildren. 
your testimony to your children and your grandchildren. And I'm living for God. I don't care what you do. I got to pray for you. Hallelujah. I'll fast for you. I'm not giving up on God. My testimony is my our greatest testimony. And I mean our greatest testimony. It's our lifestyle. But I'm not talking about the lifestyle you live in church because the people that's hypocrite, most of them, the junk they're doing, they're going outside the church. Soon as soon as they leave church, they're going to commit adultery. Soon as they leave church, they're going to get high. Soon as they leave church, they're trying to jump on their wife. Soon as they leave church, they're trying to rape their they son and daughter. My God, I'm going to be a living testimony by the grace of God. Hallelujah. Mm. Glory. Hallelujah. Your testimony has power. Your testimony is how you live and how you deal with it. But your testimony is also, I'm not giving up on God. I'm not going to be silent. You got LBGTQ or whatever it is and Black Lives Matter and all these sororities and fraternities. They don't want you to say nothing about Jesus. But they want to tell you the devilish stuff that they're doing. And they want you to accept it. The devil is a liar. We rebuke that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We call Holy Ghost Father now from heaven to destroy it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We got opposition just because we tell her the truth. People mad when preachers are preaching sound doctrine. People mad when, when a preacher living according to the Bible. I mean, you know, the ones who, you know, we really try to live according to his word, not according to the word. I don't want to hear no excuse. Well, you, you're only a man, man got needs. Yeah. Amen. I'm a man. Glory to God. I know I'm a man. I was born a man. I'm going to stay a man. I'm not going to pretend that I'm a woman and I ain't going to pretend no man is a woman. Glory to your mighty name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It is so much deception in the world. Your testimony strengthens you as it strengthens other people. Remember, mm, glory to God. Your faith come by hearing and hearing the word of God. That is also when you're giving somebody your testimony. You are hearing and you are preaching to them. Well, you know, you're giving somebody your testimony. And you're talking to them, but really you're preaching to yourself. And if it's encouraging them, it's encouraging them. As you start talking about the goodness of God and what he's done in your life and what he's done in your grandbaby's life, then you get excited. What he's done for the church, what he's done for your leadership, what he's done for your husband, what he's done for your wife, what he's done for the mother's board, what he's done for your grandparents. Hey, no testimony. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. I said your testimony has power. Don't ever let the devil steal your testimony. Well, I, I, I ain't got nothing, to, I ain't got nothing to say today. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I guess God ain't hearing me. Your testimony is God woke me up today in my right mind. Hey, God got me home safe. From my job, he got me to my job safe. He kept me from car accidents. He kept me from a straight bullet. Ain't nobody snatched my kids. Ain't nobody raped my kids. In the name of Jesus, my kids are not on drugs out there strung out. That is a testimony. Glory to God. Your testimony, and even though my kids and my grandbabies are young, I can see the Lord working in their life. I can see glory to God, that God is dealing with them even now. I can thank God that even though they're in school, that they're not getting caught up with all the riffraff that's in school. I never said my kids was better than them. I did not. I'm saying I'm glad my kids are really have a mind to serve Jesus. Even, look, they may cry. They may have to walk the halls by themselves. They may have to eat by themselves. But if they're standing up for the word of God, God is going to reward them. 
Let my God help me, Jesus. It's the power of your testimony, and your testimony is also how you live. God is going to reward them, not just up in heaven, but down here. Listen, I, I learned this a few years ago. I know my reward is heaven. That is the ultimate reward. But he also said he's going to bless us down here. Glory to God. And I receive that too in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, I thank you for the favor that you've given me with God and man. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Jesus, I thank you for keeping me. Hallelujah. When I couldn't keep myself. Lord, I thank you, Lord, that my bills and my life didn't cut off when I didn't have no money. And you somehow, not somehow, Lord, you did it for me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. My God, there's power in your testimony. Lord, help me. I don't understand it. You can't be in the world and be in church. There's no straddling the fence. If you got one, word, one foot in the church and one foot in the world, you're going ahead. You can't straddle the fence. There is no gray area. Look, sometimes we got to be like David who encouraged himself in the Lord. When everybody turned on you and they don't know, they telling you you are. You didn't go on too far. You just blind. And, and, and you got to encourage yourself in the Lord. David's testimony at the time in Ziglag mm, was God is good. All of his men wanted to stone him. They were heartbroken. They were crying. All their wives and their children was gone. The camp was burnt to the ground. Hey, that don't cry. Hey, look, let's go to war. David's supposed to be, oh my God. He's supposed to be our leader. How can he even let this happen? David had to go get the ephod. He had to go encourage himself in the Lord. He, had, he couldn't listen to his men, Lord Jesus, because look, they was hurt. And right now they're in their flesh. They are in their feelings. David was in his flesh and in his feelings. But one thing David had to do was, hey, I got to get to get Glory to God. And God told him to presume. Glory to God. My God. Now, when they went and got their family back, and I mean their family, the 600 men or 400, whichever one it was, they went back and they uh, uh, found the Philistines that raided their camp, that took their families. When they found them, they got everything back. They got all their wives and their children back without harm being done. That is a testimony that how good God is. Yeah, it don't look good. Oh, it feels like it's the end of the world. <laughs> My God, it feels like I'm not going to make it through this. But God said, go pursue. And the reason why David pursued, because David wants it by himself and spent time with God in the midst of a battle. That, that was a war right there. That was a war. That was an internal war. It almost cost a monarchy. It almost cost a civil war. David, my wife, and my babies go, no, I, no, we finna go get them. I don't care what we gonna do. You didn't, you didn't told us to come out here and we following you. And now the whole thing is burnt down. Burnt down. And you still want us to follow you? They wanted to kill David. Well, hey, he, he took us here this far, but this was a big mistake. I mean, our, our wives and our children go. Hey, Jesus is Lord, and Jesus, you know, we love the Lord. But we got to love for our wife and children. 
Hallelujah. I, I, I can't move. God, that had to hurt. And then you can understand that they were battling in their mind. What are them men doing to my wife? What are them men doing to my children? And they were Philistines. They were a pagan nation. So they, you know, they, they was thinking some of everything. But God was good enough. Mm, glory to God. God was good enough that they went and got their family back and they didn't lose that one person. Not one wife, not one child, none of the elderly. They got everything back, all their wives and children. And they destroyed the Philistines. That is a testimony. David's testimony, like I said, he had to go to God because everybody wanted to kill him. David probably went out in the head somewhere for a few hours. Hallelujah. He talking to the Lord. You got to help me. These men are going to kill me. I don't care if they say I'm God's anointed or not. God told them, go ahead and pursue. You shall recover all. Hallelujah. So the testimony for them was, we recovered all. You got to understand, some of y'all are going to recover everything that the devil stole. Listen, uh, and 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 I had to do it, still got to do it. Some people, you just got to let go. I don't care if they've been your best friend since you was two. You loving God, they loving the world. They trying to pull you back into the world. Talking about uh, living for God is boring. It is not boring. It is, a, I, I love serving God. I love it. It is such a great joy to serve God. Hallelujah. To feel his presence on the inside. To feel the Holy Ghost move <clears throat> on the inside of me. The Holy Ghost and fire. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Glory. That was a suffering that they had to go through. Because listen, somebody kidnap your wife and kids, you don't think the worst of what they doing to them. That's it. That, and that's just being human. They were pagan. They were pagan nation too. So they was real, real wicked. So we got to understand, just like Paul said in uh, 2 Timothy 1 and 8, glory to God. Let's read that again, and then we'll go over to Revelation 13, uh, 12 and 11. This is the New King James Version again. <clears throat> Second Timothy chapter 1, verse 8. Therefore, do not be ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner, but share with me in the suffering of the gospel, According to the power of God, suffer with me according to the uh, according to the power of God. So understand something here. Hey, glory to your mighty name. I told you before, there's a difference between you suffering because of you and you suffering for Christ. Now, you ain't got no business suffering for 10, 12 years. Hallelujah. You depressed all the time. Well, Lord, I don't know why. Mm -hmm. You better rebuke that in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm a child of the king. I'm going to stay the child of the king. I don't care what happened or what come, what go. Spouses had left. Their husbands had left wives because they got saved. Wives have left husbands because they got saved. Well, uh, what's the problem? I gave my life to the Lord. I don't do that no more. And then, well, I would like this. When when we got married, you need to just accept me. I ain't going to get rid of you as long as you ain't doing that thing. I'm serving God. And I pray that you start serving God. So my household, that's for me and my house, we shall and will serve the Lord. Hey, glory to your name. Let's go to uh, Revelation 12 and 11. <clears throat> it says this, And they overcome him by the blood of the lamb 
and by the word of their testimony. And they did not love their lives unto death. Mm, glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Mm. Whew, glory to God. Let's read that again. Revelation 12 and 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they did not love their lives unto death. They overcame him by the blood of the lamb and the words of their testimony. And they loved their lives not unto death. A lot of people say, for God I live, for God I die. But when it comes down to it, hey, you better show up hope you feel what the Holy Ghost like you said. One thing about the apostles, and they were all martyred, if I'm not mistaken, except John. They weren't crying, kicking, and screaming. Talking about, don't kill me. I'm I, I, I'm going to do whatever you want to. I, I'm going to denounce Christ. Don't kill me. Paul, Peter said, hey, I'm not worthy to be hung right side up as my Lord and Savior. You crucified me upside down. None of the disciples cried. And, and so they died some horrible death. But they know, glory to God, mm. hallelujah, that their reward is up in heaven. Hallelujah. They had a testimony that I'm not going to deny Christ. Well, uh, you can say, Pastor, but Peter did it three times. Yeah, he did, but Peter learned something. Peter learned no matter what happened, I will guarantee you one thing. I will never deny Christ again. So when they was ready to crucify him, he wasn't hollering and screaming. Hmm. Hallelujah. His testimony is, I'm not worthy. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. To be crucified right side up as my Lord and Savior. Crucify me upside down. Hallelujah. They wasn't crying, kicking, and screaming. We all know about John when they tried to boil him in oil. They tried to poison him. They tried to do all kinds of things to him. And the anointing of God, the power of God, the love of God was on him. They took him to the island of Palamas where he had just died of the natural elements. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Don't get me wrong. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm back before my time. I believe the Lord has given me a long, healthy, prosperous life. Glory to God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your mighty name. Let's go to um, Revelations 21 and 7. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory to your mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Mm, thank you, Holy Ghost. Revelations 21 and 7. He who overcomes shall inherit all things. And I will be his God, and he shall be my son. So he said, he who overcomes shall inherit all things. See, when, you, when, when your testimony has power, your testimony allows you to overcome whatever weakness you're going through or whatever trial. Why? Because you're speaking to God. Like I said, you may have to cry, Lord, I love you. I, I, I'm hurting by it right now. My heart hurting right now, but I love you. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. You know how it is. Grandparents love to keep their grandbaby. Well, once the grandbabies come, they don't even care about you. They just say, I'm a grandbaby. I'm a grandbaby. That's it. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. But listen, you can't be cowardly. You can't be unbelieving. You can't be an abom abomination. Listen, let's read verse eight. But the cowardly 
unbelieving, abominable, murderers, sexual, immoral, scoffers, idolaters, and all liars shall, in, shall have their part in the lake, mm, which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. So if you're cowardly and you can't stick up for God, if you unbelieve and every time something happens, your faith is shaking. You into abomination, hallelujah, bestiality, homosexuality. You sitting up here and, and Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. You sitting up here and you and your wife swings. You, Lord Jesus, you, you, Lord, help me. You up there, y'all so sick and perverted. You like watching somebody doing something with your wife. Or ladies, you like watching somebody doing something with your husband. And you don't care if it's a man or you don't care if it's a woman. You know, oh, I just like it. It's okay. It's okay with me. You're going to bust their wide open too for participating in it. Because Romans 1 tells you, even for those who take part in it just by looking at it. That's why X-rated movies, pornos are not good. I, I just, I'm just watching. I just watch it. I don't do it. Lord Jesus, help me today. Glue. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Your testimony has power. The disciples or the apostles had testimony. They may have, because see what I don't like, oh, what I possibly messed up. Okay, they did. But that ain't no excuse for you to make, make a mistake. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But if they made a mistake, they learned from that mistake. And they didn't go back to that mistake. Amen. I said they didn't go back to that mistake. Hey, hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. We thank you, Lord. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Let's go back to uh, verse 7 in Revelation 21. He who comes shall inherit all things. He who overcometh inherits all things. And I will be his God and he shall be my son. Hey, glory to God. Verse 9, but the cowardly, stop being a wimp over everything. You don't want to talk about Jesus because you don't want to think nobody. I don't want you talking about no perversion, no homosexuality, beast, whatever y'all doing. I don't want to hear that. You want me to hear your sin and your abomination, but you don't want to hear the power of God. You don't want to hear the love of Christ. All you do is talk about Jesus. Okay, all you do is talk about Jesus. I don't want to hear it. Just like you don't want to hear about the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ, I don't want to hear about your devilish acts. That ain't entertaining to me. I want to keep my spirit clean. I do not want to grieve the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your mighty name. Hey, thank you, Lord. Mm. Let's go to Isaiah. Well, let's go to 1 Peter 3 and 5. Thank you, Lord. First Peter 3 and 5. Glory to your mighty name. Hey, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, my God, I love you. First Peter 3 and 5 says this. You also, as living stones, are being built up. Mm, a spiritual house, a holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let's read verse six. Therefore, it is also contained in the scriptures. Therefore, it is also contained in the scriptures. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Everything 
is in the gospel. It's in the word of God. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Lord Jesus. Let me just say something real quick. Uh, uh, I know that, you know, there are other books out there. I guess you can use them as a cross reference. But some of y'all don't need to read it because y'all are too weak in the mind. Whichever the wind blow, that's the way you're going. Whatever somebody say, whatever the crowd say, that's what you do. This Bible here got enough word, whether it's something missing in here or not. Everything is in here for you to be saved and get to heaven. Be deceived. Neither fornicators nor adulterers. Let's go to uh, 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Here we go. 1 Corinthians chapter 6. We're going to read verse 9 through 11, I believe it is. Hey, glory to your mighty name. <clears throat> Do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor violence, nor extortioners will inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you, but you were washed, but you were sanctified, but you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the spirit of our God. You know, for some of us, our testimony was, hallelujah, I used to do this stuff. I used to be a fornicator. I used to be an adulterer. I used to be in homosexuality. I used to be a male prostitute. I used to extort people. I used to lie on them. I used to beat them up. I tried to destroy them personally, physically, and I tried to destroy their care. But Jesus came down and he watched. Yeah, my God, thank you. He came down and he watched. Mm, glory to your mighty name. He watched me from all of my sins, from all of my bad habits. Glory to God. He was so merciful that he didn't send me to a devil's hell. He's so merciful that he gave me another chance. That I'm still living and breathing. And my testimony is that God has delivered me. Some people's testimony is just, you can't even tell people your testimony. The only thing you can say is God is good and he has delivered me out of the depth of hell. Hallelujah. And thank God for it. Oh, my God. His testimony, your testimony, has power. It delivers you over and over every time you say it. And it's been delivering somebody else over. Hallelujah. Understand something. Mm. Glory to God. Somebody can be going through. And somebody can have a spirit on them that's not of God. Understand this. But your testimony and the power of your testimony. Because your testimony is backed up by the Holy Ghost and fire. That person will get delivered. That person, the devil will leave. It's the power in your testimony because your testimony is the aligned with the word of God. We overcome the devil by the word, by the blood of the Lamb, which is Jesus Christ, and by the word of our testimony. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes, we did. We just read it in uh, 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 8 and 1 or 1, one and 8 that Paul 
testimony. Paul wasn't giving up on God because Paul knew what God did for him. Paul did some crazy stuff when he wasn't saved. That's why he knew how the Pharisees and the Sadducees were thinking because he used to hang out with them. Paul was almost the life of the party. Paul was number two in line, if I'm not mistaken, either the Pharisees or the Sadducees. He was next in line to be the head. But he found Jesus on the road hmm. who knocked him off his beast. And he said, Paul, why did you persecute me? See, Paul's testimony is God knocked me off of my beast. And he said, why are you uh, uh, cru uh, uh, crucifying me? He said, crucify me, persecute the church, my people who love me. Why, Paul? And then God is so merciful in Paul's testimony when he said, I am the chiefest of sin. Glory to God. He said, I'm not worthy to be called an apostle. Glory to God. That's Paul's testimony. Hey, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. So your testimony has power. As you testify, it strengthens you over and over, and it strengthens and encourages and sometimes deliver folks the power of your testimony. Your testimony has power, is delivering you and the person that you give the testimony to. Somebody say amen, hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We're talking about the power in your testimony. Don't worry about nobody who always trying to dump you out and put you down, talking about, oh, you just saying that. You don't really believe that. The devil is a liar. I have given my life to Christ. And I tell people all the time, and I've said it many times here, I never said I was better than you. What I'm telling you is I made a conscious decision to live for Christ to the best of my ability. I don't want to have no excuse where I'm just a man. I don't want to have no excuse where we all come uh, 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 fall short and come come uh, short of the glory of God. I believe that that happens, okay? But also, you got to understand something. If you keep your mind stayed on Jesus, you won't have to worry about fall. That's just the truth. You keep your mind in this word, read this word, you won't have to worry about fall. I never said you wasn't going to get tempted. Hey, my God. But Lord, when my temptation comes, let me have enough Holy Ghost and fire to resist. Glory to your mighty name. Hey, my God. Your word, your testimony has power. Use your testimony. Hallelujah. I said use, use your testimony. Sometimes you got to testify to yourself. Lord, I know you're good. Lord, I know you delivered me. I may not see a way out, but I remember the last time when I didn't drink it. Hallelujah, you were going to be there. I know you're going to be there in your time. Lord, Jesus, give me the patience, huh? hallelujah, to wait on you. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah, glory, glory, glory to your mighty name. So when we uh, look at verse 11 in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, it says, and such were some of you, but you were washed, but you were sanctified, but you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of God. You're sanctified by the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of God. Hey, glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Let's go to uh, Acts 1 and 8.
Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Acts 1 and 8. Glory, glory, glory. Lesson it is. But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and all Judea and Samaria and to the and to the end of the earth. So when God said, Jesus told him, you're going to be witnesses in Jerusalem and all of Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth, meaning the whole earth. They are going to be witnesses to your job. Hallelujah. To take the gospel, Hebrew, to the whole world, to go to you to spread my gospel. See, the problem is we got too many wolves that crept in underwear, and the problem with them creeping in, they ain't creeping in no more. They ain't, the wolves ain't coming in in cheap clothing. Wolves coming in in their own clothing, in their own work clothes. And we don't have enough preachers to stand up for the gospel of Christ. Understand something. I'm a preacher. I'm not a motivational speaker. If it motivates you, that's fine. If it encourages you, that's fine. Glory to God. No, we're not politicians, but understand something. We do have to address certain things when the politicians are talking about. It ain't Bible. If it ain't Bible, it ain't Bible. Lord Jesus. You, 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 oh, my God. You got people talking about a transgender man have, having a, 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 a psycho, a minstrel. You, no, you're a woman. You was born a woman, you're a woman. Heard somebody talking about, well, transgender men have a uh, minstrel. No, they don't. Because you're a woman, you ain't a man. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Your testimony has power. I'm not here. I'm not hitting on nobody, but I pray that everybody get the glimpse. Hallelujah. I pray that the Lord deliver me every day. Glory to God. Forgive me, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. How, Lord Jesus, how can you change the glory of God? into what you want. He told you in Rome. That's why I say the LBGT movement, even Black Lives Matter, they won't touch Romans chapter one. It's in there. They left the uh, creator to serve the creature. That means you're too much in your flesh and you ain't got enough Holy Ghost down on the inside of you. There is no such thing as a homosexual Christian. There is not. You can't be a homosexual and talk about I love Jesus. And that's what any sin. I'm just hitting that because that's what's out in the forefront right now. You trying to make, you're trying to force people to accept sin. And now you wonder why we have all these mass shootings in schools and in the in theaters because there is no uh, moral compass in the United States. There, there is no morality. And you wonder what's going on, but the government, whoever, you know, you open the door to see it. You can't say this thing is okay, but this one is not. Look, don't be surprised when when they start talking about lowering lowering the uh, consensual age for sex, one country lowered it down to the age of twelve. That Lord Jesus, understand something. Your testimony has power. Glory to your mighty name. Do not lose your testimony. If you fall and make a mistake, you get back up, you repent, ask the Lord to forgive you. 
Hallelujah. I mean, be sincere about it. And you get back up and you keep fighting. A lot of times we make a mistake and 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 sometimes, you know, uh, well, I don't want to embarrass the church. I don't want to embarrass my leadership. I don't want to embarrass the saints that go there. So then you don't go to church. And once you don't go to church, you're losing your connection with God. No, take your rebuke, your correction, and your test time. But get back in the battle. Glory to God. I said, get back in the battle. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Get back in the battle. Glory to your mighty name. Your testimony has power. My God, your testimony has power. Don't give up on your testimony. Talk about your testimony all the time. God is good. Even though I don't see how he's working it out for me, he is still good. That's my testimony. Everybody keeps saying it ain't going to happen, but I'm in God why? because God told me. I was up in prayer. I wasn't even asking, but he told me. Hey, and I'm holding on to what he told me. I know don't nobody, my God, don't nobody believe it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I have not arrived and I'm striving, but I'm not giving up my testimony. I believe I'm on hand. But they call heaven here on earth. I'm going to give everything that God has for me to get down here. Devil, you're not tearing my home up no more. Hey, in the name of Jesus, you're not, my, I'm going to stay in excellent health. In mind, soul, and spirit, I decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ. God is good. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Go ahead and laugh. As long as I know that I'm seeking God's face. Mm. I got to go through sometime. Mm. But God is God. Jesus is Lord. And that's what I put my uh, life on. My, my life is the word of God. Lord Jesus, I know. That, let's get this straight. Yeah, we live here on earth. We are of the world. We're not in the world. So we still got to work. We still got to pay bills. We still got to do a lot of stuff. But there's some stuff that we don't need to do. Some stuff may not be a sin, but some stuff you just don't need to do. Amen. Glory to God. Your testimony has power. Hallelujah. What kind of light are you allowing in your body? What kind of light are you allowing in your home? What kind of light are you allowing the uh, uh, your kids? And, and we know they go to school and they do a lot of things and they children. And we know they see a lot of stuff uh, that they friends show. They may even be offered some drugs or whatever. They may be offered sex. You know, uh, you just got to pray. Glory to God. Holy Ghost fire, cover them. Give them the discernment and give them the strength to say no, even if they got to walk by themselves. Because they know in this time, God will reward me soon when I stay with him. Amen. Amen. Glory, glory, glory. Let's go to... uh. Mark chapter 5, verse 18. <clears throat> Mark chapter 5, verse 18. Hey, glory to your mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you. We're going to read 18 and 19. <clears throat> and when he got into the boat, he who had been demon possessed begged him that he might be with him. 
However, Jesus did not permit him, but he said to him, go home to your friends and tell them what great things the Lord has done for you mm. and how he had and how he has had compassion on you. So he's telling his man, glory to God, who was demon possessed. He said, I want to go with you, Jesus. Jesus told him, no, you stay here where you from. Hallelujah. And you go tell everybody what great things Jesus, has, the Lord has done for you. You go testify. Give them your testimony of what great things Jesus has done for you. My God, God. Shout out, my kid. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. He was demon possessed and he wanted to go with Jesus. And he told him, no, go tell your friends, go back to where you dwell and tell them your testimony of how God delivered you. Remember the whole region, the whole city where he was from was scared of him. Look, they were scared of him. He was living, look, they put chains on him, partying and everything. He breaking chains. Hallelujah. But our Lord Jesus Christ has delivered him, and his testimony is that God has delivered me from these demons. Hallelujah. And I haven't re researched what happened to him, but I'm pretty sure. It just me imagine that he had to be a powerful preacher. I I'm pretty sure he had to be preaching. He was giving somebody his testimony, and as he was giving them his testimony, Demons was coming out of them. Glory to God. If anybody believed, it was him. If anybody should believe, it's the city that he was in. Glory to God. Your testimony has power. Glory to God. You got to testify to yourself sometime. Hey, glory. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Lord, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for this word on today, Father God. We thank you for deliverance in this word, Father. We thank you for healing. We decree and declare deliverance. Hallelujah. We decree and declare healing. Hallelujah. Strength in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for sound doctrine, for rightly dividing the word of truth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. I know we were supposed to pray. That was a good prayer. I want to know, are you saved? Have you given your life to Christ? Look, don't let self-guilt destroy you. Even for the ones who you've never been saved and you've done so much and, and you don't think Jesus is going to accept you. Well, you don't know what I did. I don't need to know. Jesus do. And, and now you want to come to, to the Lord, but you feel so much guilt and so much shame. That is the devil. Come to Jesus who can wash all your sins away, who can take your burdens off of you, to take that weight of sin off, oh my God, hallelujah, off of you. Hallelujah, glory to your mighty name. Only the Lord Jesus, not Muhammad, not Buddha, not no. Kyle, not nothing but Jesus. Glory to God. Ain't no John Smith. It's the blood of Jesus Christ. It is no idolatry. Moloch, Baal, they're idolatry. They ain't going to do it. I don't care if you try to join some kind of group that it ain't going to do it. Jesus Christ ain't there. It ain't going to happen. Hallelujah. <clears throat> And let me also talk about the ones who were once saved and you feel so guilty because you got caught up in some stuff that you never thought you was going to get caught up in. And now you're so ashamed to go to church and repent because you don't want nobody talking about you. Hallelujah. Look, my motto, and I've always had this, whatever it takes for me to get to heaven, I don't ever want to be called out and rebuked in front of the church. But it happened. Yeah, I cried and I went home. Lord, I ain't going nowhere. I'm serving you. So if this is what it takes for me to get to heaven, that's what I'm going to do. 
Hallelujah. You can't worship. You can't worry about no, nobody that say don't come to church. I don't know why you're here. You know what you did. No, that's the devil speaking through them. Even up in church. Hallelujah. They want to talk about you. Hey, my God. I Come back to Christ right now. We don't know the time, the hour of the day. My God, Jesus Christ is Lord. Come back to the Lord Jesus Christ. Why his arms are wide open for you. Do not be deceived. There ain't nothing in the world. Hallelujah. You sitting up here shacking up with somebody, living with somebody, and y'all ain't getting married, talking about, well, we might as well be married. We common law. Common law, you ain't going to get to heaven. Do what God has told you to do, that com commanded you to do, if you want to be in that, that type of relationship. And we're talking about a man and a woman because we have to say it now because there's so much perversion out there. God said man, meaning they were born of him. God said man and a woman, meaning she was born a woman. And they are to come together and be one flesh. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. We got to fight there. I, don't, I can't believe and don't understand how it's getting in the court. It's going all the way up to the Supreme Court and, and the Supreme Court trying to debate on whether they're they going to let somebody live in sin and abomination. And then you trying to pass laws to tell us we got to accept it. It ain't Bible. It ain't Bible. I don't care if you do got a theology degree. Hallelujah. You ain't rightly dividing the word of God because you have no Holy Ghost down on the inside of you. You can tell me you saved all, all you want, but I, I I don't see the Holy Ghost. I can't feel the Holy Ghost. And now you trying to go against the Bible. You trying to rewrite scripture. You trying to interpret it according to your flesh. Glory to God. So I tell people, thank God you got a theology degree. Thank God you got a, the, uh, a doctoral in Hebrew history. But if you don't have the Holy Ghost down on the inside of you, the revelation that you really want, that you really need, is only coming from the Holy Ghost as you read and study his word. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hear me, my God, my God. Father God, we pray for all those right now. We ask that you come in, in their heart. We ask that you forgive them. Forgive us, Father God, for everything that we did that was wrong. For everything that we said that was wrong, looked at what was wrong, participated in what was wrong, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for washing us in your blood. We thank you for giving us another chance. Lord, we ask you to forgive us. Give us the strength to turn from our sins and we don't go back to them. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you for your love and mercy and grace and Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray. Amen, amen, amen. We post Saturday at 10 a.m. Glory to God. For our Saturday morning service, uh, we may or may not have our night service. I may have to be out of town. I don't know yet, but I will let you know during that uh, Saturday morning service. Hallelujah. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. If the Lord put it on your heart to become a member, go to our website, H-O-D-I-M dot uh, org. Leave us a message or email us at H-O-D-I-M 1117 at gmail.com. Hallelujah. If you want to sow a seed, the information is on the uh, Facebook page and on our website. God bless you. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of might. Huh?